What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Display TV. I am your host, Sarah Ravis. It's Friday, friends. Best day of the week. And we're hanging out, making the most of it. I'm so excited because we've got a brand new game of trivia coming up in 30 minutes. I'm giving away $500. And I don't know a better way to go into the weekend than with some extra cash in your pockets. And you know you don't just have to win trivia in order to make money here on display, right? So I'm also gonna be giving away some helpful tips and tricks to maximize your time on this app and make a little extra coin. So stick with me in the show today if you wanna hear about all that. Plus, this is a live chat. So if you got any comments, if you got any questions, throw them on in, I can see everything. All right, let's see what people are saying. I, I saw somebody cheering for Chaz, and Chaz, I truly, I don't know how to feel about that. How do you feel about that? I love it. Chaz loves it, and that makes sense, and uh, you know what? I support my friends, and therefore, I'm gonna say, I, I am, I'm in full support. You can chant Chaz all you want to. Chaz is here, he's hanging out. So is Capper Seven, first noon show that you can make. How exciting is that? What a treat. Who else is here for the first time? Where are we watching from, friends? How are we feeling on this fabulous Friday? It's gonna be warm here in New York City today. We're gonna get some of that springtime weather. Super excited about that. Who else have we got here? We've got Shabza, we've got Miss Smee, we've got Sing Creation, we've got Surya. Who else? Oh, so many great people. Oh my gosh, Capper Seven, it's the last day at your job tomorrow and then you can make all the different tri trivia games that we're doing. I mean, it sounds like you quit for us. Did you quit your job so that you could play display trivia at its new time every day? Because I am flattered. Let me tell you, I am, ugh, that is a number one fan right there. No, that's not why. We've got Rohit tuning in from India, Shabza from South Africa, Up5 Brian J, New Albany in the house. Who else in creation from India? We've got Santosha from Nepal. Uh, Ryan Taylor, when will display start? Friend, it is starting. This is the party, honey. But if you are talking specifically about the trivia, we've got about 25 minutes till trivia kicks off. That's gonna be at noon Eastern time. We're giving away 500 bucks. Plus, if you stay here, in the meantime, you get a free answer. So if you're like, I could use a free answer. I'm not the best with the trivia. I kind of want question eight ahead of time. Well then hang out with us. Get that free answer. Learn how to earn a little bit more money on display. See some original content that people have been posting here on the app. And like, before you know it, it'll be time to trivia. Hey, Miss Me from the Philippines, how cool. We've got a worldwide audience in our chat today and I am loving it. So that means some of you are closer than even I am to the weekend because you're ahead in the time zones, which I love. So let's talk about what are your plans for the weekend? What are we doing? What are we getting up to this weekend? Lay low, go out and about, fly high. What are we doing? We lay in low, we going out and about, are we flying high? Oof, weekend, time to rest for, I don't know. It's kind of like a balance, right? Life is a delicate balance. That work, that play, that rest, that enjoying yourselves and being out and being active and being social, but also that like lovely quiet time that we get. And you know what? How appropriate, because we're pretty much an even split right now between lay low and go out and about, which is perfect. Do a little of each, why choose, right? Lay low Saturday, go out and about Sunday, or vice versa, right? Sunday, fun day, Saturday, rest day. As long as you make some time for the life admin stuff, you know, like the chores and the laundry, and then you get some proper Z's, maybe some family time, maybe some time with friends, that feels like a weekend well spent. So long as we're not at work or week working the entire weekend away. And one more congratulations to Capper7, last day of work tomorrow before we start a new job. I love that. Some of us work the weekends, so if you are working the weekends, you know, hats off to you. you I hope you have a great weekend at work and then you get to come play trivia with us on your days off. That, that's awesome. That's kind of the best arrangement ever. All right, we got Lance Gibbs tuning in. Ralph V97 is here. Quiz paparazzi. Yes, everybody's here today. I'm loving it. Friday, that's an easy day to tell your boss, hey, uh, I gotta take 10. I got a trivia game I gotta go play. Uh, and if I win, I'll give you some of the money. Not. Who's ducking out of work right now? Who's sneaking off to the bathroom to win some extra money, huh? That's what I wanna know. Who's playing hooky from work? 
to be here. Or maybe, you know, again, some of you are ahead in the time zone, so maybe you're just at home, you're enjoying, you're winding down, you are getting ready for the weekend, and you're like, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna conclude my Friday with some trivia. Well, either way, we're so happy that you're here. And maybe some of you are even celebrating Earth Day today, yeah? Special day to celebrate this lovely planet that we all live on. So what are you doing? What are you doing for Earth Day, huh? Are you celebrating in any shape or form? Maybe cleaning up some trash? Are you, I don't know, maybe recycling or going for a walk or planting trees? Is anybody celebrating Earth Day? I saw a very exciting performance earlier today on my way here of someone dressed up as Mother Earth and doing a nice little wrap for us. <laughs> it was pretty entertaining. Um, so maybe I can get that up on display for all of you. What are we doing for Earth Day? Anybody? Oh, up five Brian J says, yesterday was my last day before a new job and I've been looking forward to joining in the trivia now that I'm not working. We're excited to, everybody is like leaving their jobs and making room for trivia. That makes me so happy. All right, what else makes me happy is celebrating Earth Day in style. So are you spending time in nature? Are you picking up trash? Are you donating to an organization? Or are you composting? Which of the following? I've never gotten into composting. I mean, not for lack of, no. Yes, for lack of trying. Lack of trying. I haven't actually tried to get into composting. You know, my dad had a big compost pile in our yard when I was growing up. It was delightful. Took a walk out there, smelled all the compost. It was amazing. I would recommend maybe spending your time in nature not near a compost pile. Uh, but let's see what we, what we said. Okay, 84% of you are spending time in nature. Well, you know what? If you are spending time in nature today, you know, I know you probably wanna be detached from your phone, that's kind of the point of it, but maybe snap a picture and put it on display. Maybe get a little video and put it up on display and tag Earth Day or something. I'm gonna show off some really gorgeous nature photography and content later in the show, so get inspired. See what you might be able to take a photo of and celebrate Earth Day and make a little extra money. But I love that we're celebrating Earth Day, whatever that might be for you. Even if it's just taking a moment and saying, thank you, thanks for this planet. I am so grateful to live here, right? Okay, so because I've mentioned posting, because I've mentioned you don't necessarily need to win trivia in order to earn money here on display, let's talk about what that actually looks like, right? How to earn money on display. And it is that simple. It's just by posting, but I'm gonna break down exactly how you get the money from your posts. So the first thing is, right, you're posting consistently, you're gonna notice that when you're scrolling through your feed, every three posts from creators, there's an ad. The money from that ad goes 50% to display and 50% to the three creators whose posts appear above that ad. So if your content is circulating in people's feeds, you're earning money just for it being there. So make sure you're getting that content up. Again, if you are taking a little nature walk today, snap a picture, put it up. I put up a picture this morning of like my hand holding my iced coffee. There we go. Pretty simple, document your day. You know, add a little sentence or two about why it is that you're posting it and bam, you have yourself a post that people might be interested in. Because you, you are the secret sauce, you are interesting. All right, the second way that you earn money from your posts is the support me button. This is a little yellow S. It says support me. It's on the bottom right of another creator's post. You can see it right here, right? You've got your like, your comment, your share, and then you have the support me button. Now, if you tap the support me button on another creator's post, again, you'll be taken to an ad. And the money from that ad goes 50% to display and 50% to the creator that you just supported. So you do have to watch that ad all the way through completion, right? So that would be like maybe 15 seconds of your time. And for 15 seconds of your time, that is it. You've just helped a creator get paid just by taking 15 seconds to watch an ad. Again, this, this is no money out of your wallet, no money out of your display bank account. It's literally the time it takes to watch an ad. So tap that button, watch the ad, and there, there you go. You just helped a creator get paid. If people are doing this for you, maybe take an extra moment and like notice and go back and do it for them. Or just like make someone's day by going out of your way to scroll through your feed, see what content sticks out to you. Who, who's really making an effort? Tap support me. Take five minutes out of your day, support a bunch of people, and be done with it, right? How nice, who's been tapping the support me button? Let me know in the chat. Now in the meantime, the third way that you can earn money here on display is by inviting your friends. So to do this, you're going to need to generate your own link, which you can do by going to your main menu. And in your main menu, you'll see a tab. It says, invite your friends. When you tap on that, you're gonna see, again, you have a link. 
you have the option to invite your contacts, or you have this QR code. These are all of the different ways that we can trace that referral to you. The reason this is important is because you get 10% off of whatever that person makes. So if you invite someone with your link, they set up a profile and they start earning money on display, you get 10% of that forever. So like, I don't know, in between now and trivia, tell people, hey, what are you up to at noon? There's a live trivia game, you can win 500 bucks, come tune in. Or like, hey, throw your post up on this app and you can actually earn some money for them. So make sure you're texting your friends, inviting them to trivia, telling them to come hop on this app. You know, not just for them, but for you to earn that extra money. Okay, so those are some of the ways that you can earn. Again, I've given you some different types of posts that you could be posting, right? You don't just have to win the trivia that we do every single weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern. But like, let's dive a little more into this posting, right? Let's talk about our options in terms of posting and what that actually includes. So to generate any post, you're gonna do that from your profile, okay? And then you're gonna tap that little plus sign on the bottom. And once you tap that, you're gonna see you can take a photo with your camera, you can choose something from your camera roll, right? So let's, for example, choose this snowy photo on the top left. You have the green check mark, you're gonna go next. And then like you're gonna enter some sort of caption, something funny, something that tells the story. And uh, then you have some different options in terms of visibility, which I always like to point out. So let's tap on that great. We've got public, private, and exclusive. Public means it's shown to all of display. Private means just your friends and followers. And exclusive is really cool. So this actually blurs out your post for anyone who hasn't tapped the support me button. So it actually incentivizes people to have to support you in order to see your content. Now don't do this on every post, but every once in a while, if you're showing good content, people are gonna wanna click. They're gonna wanna say, hey, what's behind that blurred wall? I wanna know what that is. And it's gonna force them to tap the support me button in order to actually see your content. So let's go back to our posting options, see what else we can do. And you know, sometimes we don't have a photo. We don't have an idea for a photo, but we wanna say something. So tap that text button and you could actually just enter something simple, something uplifting like Happy Friday. We're gonna select that. We're going to select a color, we'll make it purple, and bam, we have ourselves a message that we can just post directly to our feed and people can support just like any other post. So you're not limited to whatever is around you in terms of photography. And finally, I wanna encourage all of you to be using the live feature. So let's go back one more time to this. We're gonna tap Dolby Live on the bottom right. And then you'll see if you tap live, boom, you're live in real time with your friends, your followers, your family. You can give them a little tour of your home. You can take a walk. Maybe you're going for that Earth Day walk today. You wanna take people with you in nature and like show them your surroundings, answer questions in real time. It's a great way to connect to your audience. So I am curious who knew about all of these, if you've learned any new information, which of these, ex which of these features are you most excited to try? Maybe something I've re-inspired you to try, right? Maybe you kind of forgot about it. Is it Dolby Livestream? Is it exclusive posts? Or is it your editing tools? Which of these is a standout to you that you're like, ooh, I'm gonna do that this weekend. That sounds really exciting. All right, Dolby Livestream coming in with a win. I love to see it. Yes, this is great. Go on your walk today. You don't even have to put your face on camera, right? If you're camera shy, you could literally hold your phone up like this and like just record your surroundings and be talking. And that would be equally as engaging, you know? Show your dog's perspective. There's, there's so many different things that you can do. And I'm so glad to see that 72% of you are excited to try that. You know what I'm excited to do? Give away a trivia answer. Y'all have tuned in early. I am so grateful for that. We've got trivia starting in 15 minutes, which means it's time for me to give you an answer. So let's do it. I'm gonna ask you question eight. It's just a practice question. You're gonna answer and then I'm gonna reveal the correct answer and no points, no money. It's just so that you have it for today's game. All right, who's ready? Let's see how you all do with this one. All of the following colors are used in the O's of the world's largest search engine logo, except green, yellow, red. Which one? Do you know the world's largest search engine? I mean, I, I seriously use this every single day of my life, pretty much, right? It's like its own verb now. Now do you know what I'm talking about? Are you hitting the internet real quick to see, ooh, I gotta see which one of these is uh, not used in one of the O's. And it looks like a majority of you are getting this because yes, you two 
are very familiar with this search engine, which is Google. Let's Google. And there are no green O's in Google. So green is in fact your answer. There are yellow O, there's a yellow O, there's a red O, there is no green O. Green will be your answer for today's question eight and trivia. And if you got that one, shout yourself out in the chat right now. Give yourself a pat on the back. You're like, Sarah, that one was too easy. I needed a different practice question. Well, too bad. I choose which question eight I wanna give you every day. And it's always, that's right, question eight. So, nope, there is no choice. Question eight it is. Did you get it? Who got it? I wanna remind you too, right? You don't just have to win trivia in order to earn money on display. You can just be posting your content and earning money that way. And again, today's Earth Day. Lots of stuff to be taking photos of. So like, let's get you inspired. I, I pulled up a couple nature photographs from display today that I saw that I really loved. So let's take a look at some of those. Up first, we got this one from Jen Yamaguchi. She's always got great content, but hey, what a great day for the Sacred Trees Challenge that she started. She took this um, photo in Japan, um, which is where she is based, but I love the framing of this, right? This isn't just any old tree photo. You've got this beautiful, beautiful shot here. So Jen, great inspiration for everyone. And again, like, happy Earth Day. Go take a photo of a tree and celebrate. I love it. And tag this and use the hashtag Sacred Trees Challenge. Get some eyeballs on that. All right, next up, we got this run from CCCC. Maybe you're riding your bike today. Maybe that's how you're celebrating Earth Day. A nice little bike ride. I'm too scared to do that in the city. But maybe that's what all of you are choosing to do because you're not in somewhere as scary as New York City is to ride your bike. Okay, next up, we've got this one from VHS Photography. This is awesome. I love celebrating people on this app who are actually using it to promote their art. And Vicki Spindler from Canada is. She's got some new stuff up on Redbubble and you can go check it out. But look at this, look at her gorgeous designs. I'm loving it. Awesome job, Vicki, congratulations. Really, really cool. Okay, next we've got this one. Oh, what a gorgeous canoe shot. Now, if you check out her profile, you are gonna see, there's some incredible shots here. She lives on a lake. She's got access to a ton of incredible like lake photography, boat photos. Look at how the sky and the trees are reflecting. Like this is so artistic. Is anybody going out for a boat ride today in celebration of Earth Day? That would be kind of epic, amazing. Uh, I guess I could technically do something like that in Central Park, but I honestly, I'm not gonna get around to it. There's, there's no time for that today. All right, let's do one more to inspire all of you. We've got our mirror seven, some azaleas. Again, our mirror seven, Yuka Kato is a great follow. She's got all kinds of gorgeous flower photography up on her feed. Um, and I mean, beautiful, beautiful stuff here. So friends, I wanna also take an opportunity to invite you to a little something that's happening here in the display app today. So of course, we've got trivia for 500 bucks starting in 10 minutes, okay? It's our usual trivia at our usual trivia time. Now, you know we're always constantly improving, upgrading this app, and we definitely wanna update your trivia experience. So if you would like to join us for a practice game and help us test out some new stuff, we are doing that an hour later at 1 p.m. Eastern. That's not gonna be for any money, but if you got the day off or some extra time, you wanna help us out, you just love trivia, come and join. Maybe you just love my witty banter. Come and join us for that practice game. You're gonna need to make sure you update your app before tuning in for that one. So again, regular trivia, 500 bucks, uh, no need for an app update. That's starting in 10 minutes from now at 12 p.m. Eastern. And then we've got trivia for no money, just a fun game to help us update the app and give you some new features. If you wanna join for that, that's gonna be at 1 p.m. Eastern and make sure you update your apps for that. Woo, all right, everybody. You ready to do this thing? I'm gonna give you a 10 minute rest. This is our last game of the week. I'll see you there, bye-bye.
everybody, and welcome to a brand new, never before seen or played game of display trivia live from New York City. Ooh, did I just break your brains with all of that exciting information? Well, well, run, get that super glue because you are gonna need that noggin and fight in shape for what's coming your way. My name is Sarah Priebus, and I'm your hostess with the mostess. And you know what? Before we get started, I would like to propose a bit of a toastess. To everyone joining us for the first time, hear, hear. Now, if it is your first time here, you might be wondering, um, is she always this long-winded? Stick around for a few more minutes, and I think you will be able to answer that one all on your own. But the real questions that you came here to answer are the ones that are going to win you some moolah. So let me tell you how this game's going to work. You'll have 10 seconds to answer 10 questions each. When a new question appears on your screen, choose carefully because once you tap, there is no going back. If you get one wrong though, just keep playing. It's fun. Make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi and that you're holding your phone vertically. Your winnings will appear in your display bank account if you're actively posting and have your profile completed. Speaking of which, let me say hi to some of these little profiles now. Hello, Harwinder18 and Dot Dorothy. Hello, David Hat and Poos Pado, and Real22, and Mac Jose. Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome on in, happy Friday. All right, now before we jump in, let's do a quick practice question. Just for fun, tell me, would you rather be overwhelmed, be underwhelmed, be whelmed? Just whelmed. You know, I never thought of it that way before. Like, what, what does it mean to be whelmed, hmm? Are you just like peaceful and serene? normal, like in the middle, mediocre. Yeah, I want to be whelmed. That sounds really nice, you know? Well, 48% of you, 51% of you chose overwhelmed. Please don't get overwhelmed by this quiz. Let's just keep it simple. Let's go. It's time for display trivia. Question one. Cinderella's carriage turns into this at midnight. A pumpkin, Al Roker, Air Jordans. Cinderella's carriage turns into this at midnight. A pumpkin, Al Roker, Air Jordans. I mean, no judgment on Cinderella's carriage. Like, we all turn into worse versions of ourselves when we're tired. In fact, like, I'm sure most bad things that have happened have just been because someone didn't get their eight hours. You know, no one would have ever approved self-checkout machines if they had been well-rested, trust me. Cinderella's carriage turns into a pumpkin if she's not in bed with lights out at 12 a.m. sharp. And 95% of you might turn into winners if you keep this streak up. Question two. Olivia Rodrigo's first hit song is about obtaining this, her first job, her driver's license, her nose ring. Olivia Rodrigo's first hit song is about obtaining this, her first job, her driver's license, her nose ring. You know, so many songs about obtaining stuff, not enough songs about being thankful for what's already in front of you. Uh, except for Dido's Thank You. Oh my goodness, that is a bop for the ages. I, I don't even know what my girl is thankful for because the whole song is just na na na's, but you know, I'm sure she's got her bases covered with good health and family, and the usual. But we all knew when Miss Rodrigo got her driver's license because it was the only song on the radio for most of 2021. Red lights, stop signs, but 93% of you got it. Question three. People who have lactose intolerance can't fully digest what? Raw vegetables, cow's milk, honey. People who have lactose intolerance can't fully digest what? Raw vegetables, cow's milk, honey. Oh yeah, God bless the poor people who can't enjoy lactose like the rest of us. I'm not unable to digest lactose, but what I can't digest is new information, unless there's a picture, or if there's too many pictures, like Egyptian hieroglyphics, those are all pictures, and I'm just like, uh, bird, I, vase, do not follow. Lactose is the sugar found in dairy like Cheese, ice cream, yogurt, you know, all the stuff that you want to eat in bulk during a breakup. Mm-hmm. 93% of you are processing just fine. Question four. All of the following are members of Migos except Quavo, Takeoff, LP. All of the following are members of Migos except Quavo, Takeoff, LP. 
Hmm. This question has me wondering, like, how, how do you join a band? Do you have to be invited, like, or is there, like, an interview process? Hi, uh, Mr. Sting, was it? Please elaborate here on your past experience for us. Gosh, what a sad man. Who brings a guitar to an interview? <laughs> Next. Quavo, Takeoff, and Offset are the members of rep group Migos. 89% of you walking it like you talk it. Question five. The recent trend of tonal dressing involves wearing what from head to toe? The same color family, bold patterns, thick fabrics. The recent trend of tonal dressing involves wearing what from head to toe? The same color family, bold patterns, thick fabrics. One thing I know about tonal dressing is that you should always ask for it on the side. Unless it's the Olive Garden salad, you know, that thing always has the exact right amount of dressing. And if there's any excess, my friends, what do you think the unlimited bride sticks are for? Gosh, nature is so intelligent. Tonal dressing actually has um, little to do with salads and everything to do with wearing pieces all in the same color family. 93% of you passing this quiz with flying colors. And we're on to question six. CoStar is a popular mobile app that deals with what area of interest? Stargazing, astrology, face tuning. CoStar is a popular mobile app that deals with what area of interest? Stargazing, astrology, face tuning. So many apps, so little time, and I'm not just talking about the TGI Friday's happy hour menu. Okay, seriously though, you know, while we're on the subject, what are you thinking? Like we could do the boneless wings and mozzarella sticks? Fried green beans? You know what? Too many options. We'll get them all. CoStar is for all the astrology buffs out there to find out when they can blame their mistakes on Mercury retrograde. But no mistakes for 90% of you. Oh my goodness. Question seven. Which of the following U.S. cities prohibits open containers of alcohol in public spaces? Savannah, Georgia, Portland, Oregon, Las Vegas, Nevada. Which of the following U.S. cities prohibits open containers of alcohol in public spaces? Savannah, Georgia, Portland, Oregon, Las Vegas, Nevada. Well, we're kind of legalized drinking alcohol in open spaces. It's about time that we legalize some other stuff too. Like admitting to your friend that you think her ugly like admitting to your friend that she can't talk or if you think her outfit is ugly and she asks for your honest opinion right we should tell them or like never ever ever calling the cashier by name if you read it off their name tag don't do that but basically any city where you can ride one of those bikes that six sits 16 people through the main road like they likely will let you drink outside too and the only location where you can't here it's portland oregon I'm raising my glass to 76% of you. Question eight. All of the following colors are used in the O's of the world's largest search engine logo, except green, yellow, red. All of the following colors are used in the O's of the world's largest search engine logo, except green, yellow, red. Okay, so spoiler alert, there are O's in this logo. But big whoop. You know, there's O's in plenty of words. In fact, I would say like there's, there's O's in probably like 30% of words. Some words even have two, like onion, which, you know, mental note is actually a great name for a search engine. Cause like, you know, all the layers. Anyway, the O's in Google are red and yellow. But if you got it right, like 91% of you, you're getting closer to that green. Question nine. The first full length feature financed and produced by A24 starred which of the following lead actors? Paul Dano, Willem Dafoe, Mahershala Ali. The first full-length feature financed and produced by A24 starred which of the following lead actors? Paul Dano, Willem Dafoe, Mahershala Ali. If you've seen a movie that weirded you out in the last 10 years, you can probably thank the good people at A24. You don't know what I mean by that? Well, think about how a Pixar movie makes you feel. Yeah, you got that? Okay, now imagine the feeling that's opposite of that. Instead of turning red, it's turning dead. Inside out, yeah, that's, that's how your stomach's gonna feel after watching Hereditary. The first movie they produced in-house was La La Land. Oh no, not again. It was Moonlight, starring Mahershala Ali. Mm-hmm, 
87% of you playing the lead in that one. And it's time for the final question. Question 10. The video game that premiered in 1984 utilizes letter-shaped tetrominoes that can spell all of the following words except slot, list, just. The video game that premiered in 1984 utilizes letter-shaped tetronimos that can spell all of the following words except slot, list, just. No, they can spell, but it doesn't mean they should spell. I can relate because in theory, like I, I know how to cook. I can boil water, I can make an egg, but like, should I cook? Absolutely never. Mm -mm. Similarly, these letter-shaped tetronimos are not meant to spell. They're meant to fit together perfectly in a row after falling from the top of the screen and maybe like rotating a couple of times to find the perfect fit. The game's Tetris, and there's seven letter-shaped pieces in play. I, O, T, S, Z, J, and L. And if you got that right, you're in the winning L-O-T lot tonight. Woo, and lots of congrats are in order because 461 of you are taking home a piece of that $500 prize today. Bravo. Tima Abdu got a six out of 10. Fax Guru one. Karina got a four out of 10. Ooh, on a Friday, walking into the weekend with a win. I love it. Justin got a five out of 10. Picture Pappy got a six. App Ads got a five out of 10. Hunt DRK got a 10. China Thug got an eight. Lena won. No, that's a wow. Lena, did you win? Did you wow because you won? Up Five Brian got a seven out of 10. Up Five Gaming is in the house, what up? Capper Seven, oh, seven, but out early on Q2, that's okay. Come again, come again, okay. So friends, we'll be back Monday with a brand new game. Rest up, okay, enjoy your weekends. If you want that free answer, tune in early. I'll see you all there, bye-bye.